Hey everybody, this is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be an MLB back reunited, not lockout update. A MLB is back update as they finally come to a resolution to end the lockout. First and foremost, please can you subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. It was very surprising news, as I said in my lockout update yesterday, when we found out after the MLBPA declined all three options from the MLB for the internationals draft, there was now an agreement four hours ago now, Jeff Passon reported this, um, for the international draft, and the MLB and MLBPA have agreed that they have until July 25th to reach a deal on an international draft that would start in 2024, a source tells ESPN. If a deal is reached, the qualifying offer will vanish. If no deal, the qualifying offer will return, and the international system will remain untouched and just remain the same. Also, updated, it's not a 14-team playoffs. I would have preferred to keep it where it was at, but 10 to 12, that's fine. Compared to 14, which you might as well just made it 15. At that point, I made half the damn league, and I don't like that at all. Uh, which is how they have the 16 uh, in hockey, the 16 in basketball. Now basketball has even the extra with the play, and I don't necessarily love that because it doesn't give teams incentive that are in it at the bottom to go over the top to build up their team to really kind of build up higher in the standings because they're already in it. But that's just my own opinion. But at 12, I don't think it does that too much. Once you got to almost half the league, that's when it really damns the regular season. But 26 minutes ago, 26 on the dot, the great Chase Utley's number, uh, is when Major League Baseball and the MLB Players Association uh, reached a tentative agreement on a new labor deal. Uh, while it still needs to be ratified by both parties, that is expected to be a formality. And when baseball is back, players can report to spring training camp report to spring training camps as early as tomorrow. Opening day is expected to be April 7th. Um, as Jesse Rogers first reported, transactions unfreeze immediately upon ratification. So there's going to be this stuff happening like this when it comes to MLB signings and trades, um, which is expected to come even as early as today, uh, meaning trades and signings, if that happens, could <laughs> occur as early as t this evening. Uh, so definitely stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, I'm going to try to be putting stuff out there as stuff happens, I'm also going to be watching Ben Simmons return to Philadelphia tonight, so I might not put it out exactly on the clock, but try to put stuff out as it happens, but then Jeff Passon reported the final vote from the eight of the executive subcommittee and 30 player reps for sources with 26 to 12 in favor of the new labor agreement, and also um, Jesse Rogers reported the nine inning double headers. Uh, are back at, and, and, and regular extra inning rules, so get rid of that stupid ghost runner on second base. Baseball is back in its purest form. Now it's just about having the teams bring it back to its purest form and play the game a little bit more fun, like Chris Rose talked about in the Rose rotation, implementing the run a little bit more, like the Tampa Bay Rays, the A's, and other teams still tend to do, even the Royals as well. Um, so I would like to see more teams do that just to make it feel a little bit more lively and not be so ruled on the home run. But that's a different topic for a different time. As for right now, this is literally the opinion of everybody, what Jeff Passon tweeted, for I would think at least. For all the pain, quote for what he said, for all the pain of the 99-day lockout, all the false narratives of the MLBPA being compromised by individual agents, all the teeth gashing about owners not moving on the CBA, baseball came together and re rescued itself from the precipice of doom, and for that we are thankful, and we are damn thankful for that, as baseball finally was able to mend its gaps and come together and rescue itself from basically falling into oblivion. Um, but also, for an update for Phillies fans, April 7th now is going to be the new opening day, the league reported, so we'll see, I, I'm assuming the fault, pretty much all teams on that day with the way this has worked, but we'll see how that happened. Uh, just for an update for our other teams, the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, for people that don't know, they take on Columbus on the 5th. Uh, that is their opening day, so you could still check out that game if the Phillies opening day is on the 7th. And also on the 8th, which is a Friday against Somerset Patriots, uh, the Reading, uh, Reading Royals, that's the hockey team I cover. The Reading Phillies um, take on the Somerset Patriots at uh, Friday the 8th at 6.45 p.m. So that is where our minor league teams start 
the 8th and the 5th. The 5th is Lehigh Valley, the 8th is Reading, and then smacked in there is supposed to be the 7th of the Philly starting. So let's get hype, everybody. Baseball is back as the two sides finally come together and fist pump on an agreement. Please continue to subscribe down below. Up above on the easy to use widget. Keep the channel growing to 215 by the end of March. Stay safe with everybody and have a good day. Peace.